Hey, how are you guys? Ray coming to you from Harley Davidson. Uh, I know we're looking into the fall season here, and one of my number one issues I've had with people who like to go on nice, you know, fall hikes, um, trail walking, hiking, uh, even running still, uh, is knee and ankle issues. So today I just want to go over one of my go-to movements for the knee, uh, just for quad strength, just for working on short range of motion, building up that quad strength, uh, keeping those knees nice and healthy here, and uh, working on that muscle endurance before you go out and hit those trails. That uneven terrain uh, sometimes creates issues for the ankle joint, the knee joints, and, some, and other areas as well, but uh, this is a quick go-to here that I like to incorporate with most of my clients. This is just called a reverse step down or step up, whichever you want to call it. So here I just have a uh, basic step. Step anywhere between two to six inches is fine. It wouldn't go much higher than that. Um, I'm just going to show you a couple different views of what I'm going to do for this. So I'm just going to step up. I'll show you a side view first. Uh, and I'm going to rest on my right leg. I'm going to keep my weight over the step. And I'm not actually going to step all the way down. But it's almost like a modified pistol squat. So I'm gonna hold one leg out. I'm balancing on my right leg. I just go down, tap my heel and step up. Not putting all my weight on the floor, just doing a tap. Um, I like to put my hands on my hips. I like to push my hips back, keep my center of mass, my center of weight over the step and drive off. So it's just push the hip back, come back up. Generally, I'll do two to three sets, 10 to 15 reps per leg, depending on how they feel. Um, if you've never done these before, just start from the ground. So you don't even have to be up on a step. Uh, also just want to show you from the front. So again, if I'm on my right leg, my left leg's gonna go forward, I'm pushing my hips back, I'm staying over the step, I'm just tapping the ground, and then I'm stepping up. And I'll show you the other side, uh, same thing. Pushing my weight back here, not leaning forward onto the ground, but just trying to really hit that quad under control coming up. Now again, if I didn't want to use a step for this, same thing, tap my heel down like a partial knee bend. That's all I have to do there. So I definitely got one side that's stronger than the other, but again, trying to keep that ankle, knee, and hip in good alignment here, pushing my hips back, Working on that quad strength, definitely a go-to of mine. Um, another thing I like to do for the ankles, real quick here, um, I'll just have someone lean back against something and then do what's called an anterior tip raise. Basically, if I'm leaning back, I'm locked in my knees, my feet are slightly out in front here, I'm just gonna point my toes up as high as they can go. I'm really gonna feel the front of the shins working here. I'm working on that dorsiflexion, dorsiflexion, that's a movement that most of us struggle with, having poor ankle mobility, and I'll throw in three sets of 15 with that one. So the reverse step down, whether you use the step or not, up to you, uh, three sets, 10 to 15 reps, the anterior tib raises, kind of hit the anterior tibialis muscle there, uh, working on the ankle mobility just a little bit, two to three sets, probably do around 15 of those. So those are my two go-tos. If you like doing a lot of walking, a lot of hiking, especially in the fall, uneven terrain, those are good ones for you guys. Let me know what you think. Take care.